Hello, but so let's see this question. The question says that find the equation of the set of points which are equidistant from the points 1 comma 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2 comma minus 1. So, we have let point is x comma y comma z. We have made that is let's say p. Or q ko hum maan lete 1 comma 2 comma 3 or r ko hum maan lete 3 comma 2 comma minus 1. Now, according to question, hume kya bola ja raha hai? PQ is equals to PR. Aise points ki equation hume bata nahi. Ab hume ek cheez pata hai that distance between x1 comma y1 comma z1 and x2 comma y2 comma z2 is equals to root x2 minus x1 ka whole square y2 minus y1 ka whole square z2 minus z1 ka whole square. So, if we have to write pq is equal to pr, then we will write root over. pq means x minus 1 ka whole square plus y minus 2 ka whole square. y coordinates ka difference. And then z coordinates ka difference means z minus 3 ka whole square. Is equal to root over pr means pk or rk x coordinates ka difference that is x minus 3 ka whole square y minus 2 ka whole square plus z minus minus 1 is z plus 1 ka whole square. Dono tarap squaring karenge to humare paas bachega x minus 1 ka whole square plus y minus 2 ka whole square plus z minus 3 ka whole square is equals to x minus 3 ka whole square plus y minus 2 ka whole square plus z minus 1 ka plus z plus 1 ka whole square. Yeh bacha. Hum yaha se dekh sakte hai ki y minus 2 ka whole square y minus 2 ka whole square cancel. Open karenge to x square plus 1 minus 2x. Either z square plus 9 minus 6z. Either bache ka x square plus 9 minus 6x. Or z square plus 1 plus 2z. Yeh bach ne wala hai. x square se x square z square se z square plus 1 se plus 1. Cancel हो जाएगा। इधर क्या बचेगा? Minus 2x plus 9 minus 6z। इधर बचेगा 9 minus 6x plus 2z। 9 से 9 cancel हो गया। तो यहाँ पर बचेगा तो हमारे पास जो बचेगा, that will be minus 2x। इसको इधर ले आते हैं, तो 6x minus 2x, 6z को इधर ले जाएंगे, तो 6z plus 2z। ये बच जाएगा हमारा 4x is equal to 8z। x कितना आ जाएगा हमारा 2z। यही हमारा final answer बन जाएगा। हमें but the points keep question change. It will get the x is equals to 2z. So this is the explanation for this question. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you.